In this project, we study the effect of AI-driven font design on empathetic story reading. Every day, people consume pages of digital text. Compared to text alone, speech conveys information beyond words. Visual design allows us to incorporate and provide another interpretation for emotions expressed through other modalities, such as speech. Our system, Affective Typography, represents prosodic features as visual cues which could enhance empathy in reading experiences by creating more expressive fonts. The system converts prosodic and sentiment-related information present in speech into typographic properties and emojis. This morning, I woke up to my alarm set at 10.30, and I felt very tired. I slept in for another couple of minutes, and I was very bored. And then I woke up, and I brushed my teeth, and I ate breakfast, and I got ready um, to go to class. And then I saw, I had a presentation, and then I saw my group chat. Our system takes the audio file and renders the text with a font conveying predicted emotion and speech features. Sentiment is represented by font color and emojis, and loudness and pace are represented by letter boldness and letter spacing. We implement our system by first using Google Cloud Speech API for ASR. The text transcript is passed into two sentiment-based models, Deepmoji, which selects the top emoji for a sentence, and Vader, which we use to choose text color based on whether the sentence is positive, negative, or neutral. We also calculate the speaker pace, which maps to the letter spacing and extract loudness using OpenSmile, which maps to the font weight. We then conducted a crowdsource study with 140 participants through Prolific. Participants read stories rendered with different font conditions and rated their empathy through the state empathy scale as well as answering three response questions about what they empathize with in the story. The experimental conditions show average increases in empathy, although not significantly so when compared to the regular text condition. Participants in the color condition had the greatest increase in average empathy. Using Lewick text analysis, we find that when compared to the regular text condition, participants in the color condition use the most emotional language on average. In analyzing follow-up survey questions, we find that participants liked how the font gave the text more personality conveyed spoken elements of the story, and helped match pacing. In addition, the font color was most easily understood to represent emotion, and font properties drew attention to certain parts of the story. However, some participants found that the fonts visually interrupted the flow of the story, disliked how emojis affected the formality of the writing style, and found a lack of correlation between the meaning of the words and the styling. As such, participants suggested design changes, such as including explanations of how something was spoken, use of other more natural text formatting options, and supplementing the font with pictures or contextualizing the story to the narrator. Overall, from our study, we found that it was important to participants that the text be integrated with spoken emotions in a natural and seamless manner. Future work could explore prompting language models to generate explanations of the way something is spoken. It would also be interesting to see how this work could be applied to empathic video captioning, emotional self-reflection, and conveying emotions to people with hearing impairments or trouble with emotion identification. Thanks for listening.